altruism is action undertaken for the sole benefit of others. It's the opposite of self-interest and would seem to have no benefit for oneself. If anything, the action tends to help others while being disadvantageous to the actor. What a cutie! While these actions oh, may so not sweet. be surprising amongst our fellow human beings, what can be interpreted as altruistic behavior has actually been reported in several animal species. Honeybees are an excellent example of this. They sacrifice themselves one after another to protect the hive if a predator should appear. While this could just be instinct, some actions would not seem to preserve the species. The prime illustration of such a practice could be identified as infanticide. But why kill the offspring of one's own species? In recent years, what's been discovered is something called the selfish gene theory. To put it in simple terms, all animals are manipulated by their own body's genetic code. What's important is the self and the offspring who inherit that DNA, rather than the species as a whole. That being said, let's expand a bit further. We can now justify all altruistic behavior, such as caring for others in one's pack, familial love, marital love, and even maternal love. This premise would suggest that love and compassion don't actually exist. Therefore, all behavior that appears to be love is really just behavior to aid in transmitting one's own DNA. To be sure, this theory is not without its problems. There have been countless examples of animals helping others completely unrelated to them. This includes like creatures from unrelated DNA strains, and even instances of protecting those of a different species altogether. Which begs the question, can a theory like this fully encompass the complexity or the depth of the human consciousness? For example, it's interesting to consider whether human efforts towards such issues as environmental and natural conservation are altruistic or selfish at their core. It's almost time. Who holds a baby like that? Yeah.